All right, I've got the barrel switched around, muzzle end in there. Uh, I went ahead and parted off about an inch and faced it. Uh, so now I'm going to give the guy a half inch or a half 28 uh, thread with a cap. So we'll go ahead and thread that. So <clears throat> I had it centered and then parted it off, and that's a lot of pressure. So it's always good practice just to check here, check everything, assume nothing. Yep, she shifted a little bit. All right, there we go. We're back centered and aligned on the muzzle end here. Now we can go ahead and cut them threads. Okay. about 20 thousandths per pass. This isn't a race, this is precision work. Of course I can hog off everything at once, but I don't want my like, center shifting. thousands. Okay, I've got my ARO set to zero. So let's just see how much we got left to take. 27, about 28 thousandths. So big thanks for making your contribution. Okay. thousandths under nominal. That'll ensure that whatever my guy puts on his muzzle will fit without being too tight. It's always little, I always do this when I don't know what's going to be going on there. Um, well, general practice can go about a thousandths under just for clearances. Okay, so major diameter is done. The other thing I do when it's an unknown device is I'll put a relief in the back uh, simply because some muzzle devices don't have a relief in the front so they need a little clearance to get all the way to the shoulder. Just ensure that stuff's going to all work. So we're done with that tool. So that's a hundred thousandths grooving tool. I'll just go ahead and put a little groove in the back there, clearance. Alright, minor diameter of a half 
28 is 0.457. Oh. Means we need about 40 thousandths off. Good. Oh, yes. Come up from zero, my ARO. Uh, against the shoulder. And clearance of about 10 thousandths. Because we're going to come in and clean up the shoulder anyway. Gonna have to slow way down here. It's done. I'm going to slap a little chamfer on the end. Speed up. Nice little chamfer on there. This one's made by A.R. Warner. I really like that company. <clears throat> they make a whole bunch of these uh, indexable uh, turning tools. Uh, that's what I used for the turning of the major diameter as well. The big beefy old half inch, half inch turning tools, or holders. So I'm gonna zero my A.R.O. on the relief group, because I know that's exactly the minor diameter. <laughs> Off. Okay. I re dike them everything for two reasons. One, to check, make sure my TPI is proper. And then two, for the minor diameter, I can see when the tool starts cutting into that or just skimming it, so I know I'm pretty much there. So we'll find the 28 gauge. Just check. Once this, if I get a little more time on this machine, I can trust it, but for now, I don't. <laughs> Very happy with it. I just want to make sure I'm cutting what I'm cutting. Doing what I want to do. <laughs> to do it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Threads are cut. Okay, uh, now I got to touch up the shoulder and give her a crown. All right, got a very sharp hand ground 
sharper than 90 degree tool that goes in and just smooths out, squares up the shoulder. Couple more thousandths. Okay, I'm gonna complete that pass, come over slightly and out. That just ensures there's no step in there. And we've cut all the way to the minor right there at that shoulder junction. All right, I like it. Give it a test fit here again. All the way up, tight. And we're light tight there, 180. All the way around. All right, great. Them threads are done. Now we're just going to put a good old 60 degree crown on the uh, muzzle. And I have a special tool for that. Be right back. Okay, what you're seeing here is. Uh, Tool made by PTG. It's a 60 degree crowning tool and it features a live pilot and I've got it in my Gratan rifles reamer holder and so Just got to line it up with the bore better I'm sure we're going in straight Yep, so use these thumb screws to kind of align it just roughly, and then when it enters the bore, it should not move. Now it'll move if I hit it. Uh, but basically the idea is it's being held back here in the tailstock with a dead center, dedicated dead center that he ships with these holders. Uh, <clears throat> the reamer itself is held in, there's a set screw here. And so, You'll set it up and then put tension on these springs, which allows the whole thing to float axially, right? <clears throat> the back end of this is held in the, in the dead center. So the backs, it, it's not like a traditional floating reamer holder because the back end of the reamer is held rigidly. And then the front is allowed a little bit of play to account for any kind of uh, rainbow in the bore or, or whatever. Match grade barrels don't have much at all. Let's get a set back up here. Okay, right there. And so it's just a matter of feeding in until it, it just curls up a few chips and you're done. So quick and easy. I really like that tool. Takes a while to set up, but well worth it. Gives you a nice concentric uh, crown. Right about there. Back off. And there we go. That's all it takes. Now we know that crown is concentric with the bore. And we'll check for burrs. <clears throat> Grab a Q tip. There's not a lot of surface area left on this crown or uh, muzzle. So um, really there's no point in putting an 11 degree or some kind of fancy recess or something like that. There will be a thread protector cap on this and the crown will be slightly recessed inside of that. And then we've got the 60 degree here. So just check and make sure there's no burrs in the crown, the inside. I don't see any strands getting snagged, so that's good. So the crown's done. A little bit more cleanup, <clears throat> and we'll be done with the muzzle end here. 
So another product I like to use is Kratex. Uh, it's just an abrasive, uh, rubbery abrasive kind of thing. Really good for cleaning up threads. They're just a little, little rough from being machined. So we'll just kick it on. And I just ride down the thread and shank. Just like that a couple times. It's good for knocking the bar off your shoulder too. Sometimes it works. Okay, go the other way. So yeah, I'm pushing down pretty hard. Boy, those just makes them look nice, makes them feel nice. Makes the device that you're putting on there feel like glass. It's nice. Okay. One little hair raising uh, very end of the thread right there. Right there. Hopefully you can see that. That's pretty normal. As it comes to the end, it's got nothing left, so it just kind of splinters off like that. So a quick wisp of a triangular file. Make quick work of that. There it goes. Okay, that's done. Check for a burr on the shoulder, which there is not. That all looks good. Okay, so we'll just get the dike off there. One more quick check with the uh, thread gauge. And we're still good all the way on. Great. So, muzzle end of this barrel is completed. There's so nothing left to do here except make a thread protector, which I got to do in another operation. So, that wraps up this segment of the build. So, not sure what I'm going to do next. Maybe the uh, extractor cut in the breech end. Probably do that next. Uh, but we'll find out here soon. All right. We'll be back.